Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your February 2018 overview reading. This is good for you if you are a sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. And the spread I'm doing today is a little bit different than what I've done before, so I hope you enjoy it. And I'm also using quite a few new decks. So if you're new to my channel, um, these are not my typical decks that I use, but I am super excited to use them. So also, if you're a Twin Peaks fan, then you're probably going to recognize um, this deck ha is Twin Peaks inspired. So I'm excited to use this one and the messages are really clear and concise. And then don't forget, if you're looking to work with me, all of the um, all of the links to work with me are in the description box. If you want a reading or anything like that, I'm happy to work with you. Forgive me for having <laughs> black and white on black and white. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I'm gonna pull a truth bomb card first. We'll see what's going on there. For Sagittarius in February of 2018. All right, this one. Update your preferences. Okay, so this is definitely focus on what you want. Um, you it might be time for some updates in terms of what you're manifesting, what you're attracting. Um, it's always a good time to check in with yourself on occasion and just see what exactly it is that you want and if you're headed in the right direction. So I'm also going to pull an Angels of Abundance card. If you guys have seen my channel, you know that these are the cards that are for... Um, like career, finances, manifesting money, all of that good stuff. So for Sagittarius, we have face your financial fears. So this is all about looking at the debt that you have, looking at the payments that you need to make, really taking a close look at budgeting and anything that gives you anxiety or causes you any discomfort or fear, it's time to sink into that and face it so that you can shift it. If you leave it as this thing that you don't want to look at, then it's just going to grow along with your worries. So make sure um, you're budgeting and taking a look at the responsibilities that you have financially just so that you can... Um, you can manifest solutions and abundance. All right, and then this is the timeline that I'm pulling right now. Okay, so here's how this works. This is going to be like the theme of February for you. Then we have your internal world. So this is what's going on with you, like the healing that you're doing. And then we have your external world is going to be on the outside. Okay, so the theme of your February is two of air, two of swords, really working your sixth chakra. This is all about seeing your next steps because there's a certain level of not having absolute certainty in the future. And so it requires a lot of faith. It requires a lot of um, effort to get yourself to the position where you have confidence in what's coming next without actually having all of the answers. Okay, so it's definitely going to be testing your faith and watching the solutions come up as you affirm them. Okay, so we have the devil. So this is really interesting because it looks like you're going to be facing some vices that maybe have been dormant or that you've been ignoring or um, whatever the case may be, the universe is going to be sending you tests. It's going to be sending you lessons. And so if you're experiencing any temptation, this, this is the temptation, the hedonistic card of tarot. And so just watch yourself when it comes to overindulging because that's going to pull you farther away from the things that you want. Because indul like overindulging is separate from enjoyment. Right, So it's not about stripping your life of pleasures, it's about moderation. And so the devil is just reminding you like, hey, 
Make sure you're listening to your body, you're listening to what you need, and you're paying attention to the cues that you're getting energetically, physically, and emotionally. Okay, what else do we have going on? Um, okay, Two of Swords. Again, this is the same card. So this is just saying that, again, it's reiterating the message of using your own intuition in order to drive your actions. So you're not going to have absolute certainty, no matter who you consult, no matter who you work with, no matter what type of meditation you do, it's not going to be 100% clear, and that's okay. The, the, the test is for you to continue making positive actions despite temptation, despite not knowing what's coming next. And so the more you can align yourself and shift into doing things that are right for yourself and your body, it's going to put you in a position where you, you're feeling really empowered. Okay, we have the chariot. So a lot of forward movement. This is, um, it, it looks like the devil is kind of the other side or I could be interpreting that as fatigue a little bit. Like when we get tired, when we burn the candle at both ends, we are less likely to make decisions that make us feel good. It's like you're more tempted to turn towards fast food, easy fixes, um, just the the most immediately available solution if you're moving towards a goal. So the chariot is requiring a lot of your energy. So whatever aspirations you have that are driving you forward, it's also okay to take a break. It's about you want balance between the devil and the chariot. You want that, that Goldilocks recipe so that you can um, keep yourself healthy and whole as well as move towards your goals. And we have the Ace of Swords. So this is new ideas, fresh perspectives, um, looking ahead. So you have a lot of air, right? This is all air. So um, the way that this is looking is that you have the idea. You know what you want. You know what you need. You have... Um, you have the vision, it's just the manifestation is where you're drawing a blank, where you're not going to have everything yet. So don't lose this. Don't forget your why. Don't forget the, the big goal, the big thing you're trying to manifest. And don't lose your sights on that. It's just about making the incremental changes and the decisions that are seemingly insignificant are going to either pull you closer to this or they're going to push you farther away. So it's about this balance between the devil and the chariot. Okay, so now we have what, like this is your environment, what's going on in the outside world. So we have the Empress. So this is more than likely someone with a lot of, lot of um, motherly energy who's sitting in your space, someone that you're able to confide in who's really great at holding space for you. That's what the Empress does. And so you have someone on your team who wants all the best for you. So it, it's about um, this person is helping you. They're also going to be a good person to reflect back whenever you're feeling any of this temptation or this pull from this hedonistic side of things. It's going to make it a lot... Um, she's a good person to go to and consult. Regardless, most of the time this is a woman. Like someone who has a lot of feminine energy and embraces that. So typically this lies outside of gender, but I, I'm really sensing that this is like a, a powerful woman who has a lot of earthly motherly energy to offer you. Okay, the next thing we have is the world. So this is a completion of cycles. It looks like you're having a lot of loose ends that are being tied up and you are... Um, you know, you're moving forward with things, so you're leveling up. It's you're you're on the right track. It's just about keeping the faith through the peaks and valleys with your mood, with your um your optimism, because that fluctuates. But in this process, you have a lot of things going on around you that are being finalized, that are being wrapped up and kind of tight, you know, tied in a neat little package and sent on their way. So it looks like this is a cleaning energy, like everything's being organized and structured so that you can move on towards the next thing that you're looking to cultivate. 
We have Strength. Man, you have a lot of Major Arcana cards in this. So Strength, this is Perseverance, Personal Power, um, having a good support team around you. It looks like you do have a lot of support, whether you feel it or not. Um, whether you can see it and touch it or not, it's there for you. And so this is why this reading is really adamant about don't forget that you do have um, you do have the strength card on your side. You do have a lot of that um, positivity coming in to um, support you, even if you have a bad day, even if you have a bad week in February. It's going to um, require endurance and it might make you fatigued and it might make you want to overindulge in one of your vices, but it's it's all about looking at the big picture and holding the vision for what you do want. Focus on your why. What is your why? What is the, the big goal? And the more you can align yourself with what you want big picture, this is going to be easier to manage. Okay, and wow, we also have temperance. I love this temperance card with the pie wings. I like that. Um, so this is all about, again, balance. This is reminding you that you, ha you have the right environmental structure to achieve this. This balance between the devil and the chariot. You can do it. So don't forget that. The environment is right for you to... Um, move forward towards what you want. There's absolutely no turbulence environmentally. That's not going to be universally true. I want to make sure I include that. This doesn't mean that your your February is going to be without hiccups or speed bumps. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's that this is a work in progress and so you're moving in the right direction towards your ambitions and goals and you have the right environment to do that. You have the right support, you have the right attitude and clarity around what you need to do to move forward. You just may not be able to see 100% the how, but the how is the piece that you need to let go of. If you get too stuck and bogged down in the how, then it can actually push the manifestation away. So make sure you remember that, that if you're if you are really focusing on solutions and resolution to a certain situation, that you manifest solutions. And phrase it just like that. You're manifesting a solution for X situation. Now, the timeline, don't forget, this is your growth period through the month. It's not, um, it's not gonna be as environmental. It's gonna be more of the internal internal transformation throughout the month and the advice that goes along with that. So for the first quarter, we have inspire. So this is focusing on things that really light you up in a positive way that are really um, like tapping into that why is going to help you feel inspired. It's going to give you that little seed of motivation. It's like you can't wait for motivation to just arrive. You have to seek out things that are going to make you experience that feeling. And so turning towards what inspires you is going to really crank up the heat on you pursuing the things that you want. Second quarter, we have blessed. So this is practicing gratitude, really making sure you're paying attention to what you do have. And the more you focus on that, the possibilities and your mindset around what is possible for you in the month of February or through a longer period is going to expand and compound. So um, really feel into your blessings, feel into that gratitude, and it's going to really serve you this month because that's like the, this is what what helps you call things in. It's what helps you call in those solutions. It's what help, helps you call in those support people. And it's going to um, really lift you up. Even if you're having a crappy day, if you can like write a list of 20 things that you do appreciate, I mean, it, it's it's hard to not feel at least some shift. It's just getting your, your hand to do the writing that's the most challenging piece. So any way that you can do that during the second quarter is going to up your manifestation abilities. Okay, third quarter, we have Celestial. 
Okay, so this is, um, I, I'm getting, pay, pay a little bit of attention to astrology if you're into that. Otherwise, this is going to be a really good time for you to seek guidance through whatever meditation, mindfulness practice you do have, however you download information. Um, the third quarter is super potent. So it's a little bit more fluid, but you might feel this calling of, hmm, I need to, I need to sit down and listen, or I need to sit down and, and, pay, and work with an angel that I work with, or whatever it is that you do, whatever your style is. It's just about tapping into a little bit more of that, um, the, the metaphysical practices that you do have, and it's going to um, give you a lot of insight, and it might even clear up this Two of Swords situation. It might help you get a little bit more faith in moving forward, in doing your next project, or getting into your next relationship, whatever the Ace of Swords is for you. Fourth quarter, we have gratitude again. So, Blessed and gratitude, they're ringing as being very similar for you. So this is a reiteration of the message. It's it's also, if you're dealing with any challenges in February or any hardships, this is going to make it a lot easier on you. So, so don't forget how medicinal gratitude can be. Um, you know, don't ignore it. <laughs> it's not hokey. I promise it works. Okay, I'm going to do two cards, one for if you're in partnership, one for if you're single, if you're into that. So this is going to be if you're, if you're in partnership, and then if you're single, and then I'll do a three-card pick and wrap up. So if you're in a relationship, we have the star. Okay, so this is the soulmate card coming into alignment with your partner, um, really hearing each other correctly. This is a great card to see when you want there to be healing and understanding between both people. This is also aligning with your destiny, right? So whatever that looks like, it's going to be different for everybody. Sometimes that's that means a big shift. Sometimes that means um, leveling up in a relationship. It can take all different forms. So this means that you're coming closer and closer towards alignment with your path and purpose. Sometimes we stray, sometimes we hop back on for a while and then we fall off. So this is saying that relationally you have that, um, that guidance that you need. Okay, if you're single, we have the magician. Work on your manifestations. Get specific. Update your preferences. They might be out of date, especially if you're dating or you're single and looking for partnership. Really focus in on what you do want. Affirm the things you do want. And if somebody comes your way that doesn't meet your needs and doesn't fit what you want, then say no to it because that's going to communicate to the universe that you're ready for something better. Okay, go ahead, pick a card or do whatever you want. You guys know that I, I don't care if you pick before or after. So do whatever feels right to you. All right, card number one. We have Ace of Crystals, Manifestation and Prosperity. Again, update your preferences. Focus on what you do want, what you do like, what you need to cultivate, and that's going to come to you tenfold. It's just about tuning in to that manifestation. Card number two, we have six of feathers, transition and insight. This is you moving forward. Whenever I see the six of swords, this is six of swords, um, <clears throat> it's all about breaking free from a situation that may have been toxic or bogging you down, preventing you from fulfilling your full potential. And so this transition is necessary in order for you to continue moving forward and as conscious, you know, as a conscious person, growth is essential. Evolution is essential and therefore transition and moving forward is essential. Card number three, 
Three of Shells, this is playfulness, bliss, celebration, happiness, connection, and spending time with friends is going to be really healing for you. So make sure that you're paying attention to that and that you're tuning into the times when you feel like you need some connection, when you need some... Um, you know, when you need a hug or when you need a friend, when you need to go out and have a good time, um, pay attention to that because there's a lot of healing that you're going to get from those experiences. So it looks like a fun February for you, transformative February for you. And for the, um, if you pick the Ace of Crystals, then it's like really dial in your manifestations because they're going to be super potent. Okay, so... That is all I have for you in terms of the reading. Don't forget that if you are interested in working with me or getting a custom tarot spread, check out the links in the description box so you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. We can do some intuitive counseling and um, energetic healing. Um, and then if you are... Um, not already signed up for my newsletter, don't forget that you get a free solar year reading during your birthday month. So it comes at the end of your birthday month and I send out other goodies throughout the, um, throughout the year. Okay, so I hope that you've enjoyed this reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I absolutely appreciate you and have a happy February. Bye-bye.